from this scientific context, what is meditation? What is consciousness? We know today that the human mind, human consciousness, is structured in layers in parallel to the structure of the universe. Human mind is structured in parallel with the structure of physical reality, which means there's surface levels of mind, active, thinking, choppy, chaotic mind. But deep within, there are quieter and quieter levels of mind, more silent, more powerful levels of the thinking process. And from this perspective, meditation properly understood and properly practiced is a technique to take our outwardly directed attention through the senses powerfully within to experience and explore deeper levels of mind, quieter and quieter and quieter levels of the thinking process, as this chart shows. And this inward flow of the mind culminates in the experience of complete silence the direct experience of this fundamental unity, this unified field at the basis of mind and matter. Now, not only is this extremely interesting philosophically, but it has profound practical results for our health, for brain development, for our life. This meditative state achieved through TM, transcending, is a fourth state of human consciousness identified by modern physiological science. It's called the hypometabolic physiological state. It's not waking, not dreaming, not sleeping. It's a fourth state of consciousness, the meditative state. And hypometabolic physiological state is just doctor talk for a state of deep rest. In fact, a state of rest that is much deeper even than sleep. And this published research compares the rest through transcendental meditation, shown in blue, with the rest that is gained through conventional relaxation, rest, or sleep. And it shows that the level of rest through TM is much more profound. And deep rest is the most powerful antidote to stress and anxiety. And the deeper rest of transcendental meditation is much more effective at dissolving stress and anxiety than conventional relaxation, other forms of meditation, or sleep. It's very, very significant according to this meta-analysis of published studies conducted at Stanford University.